Hey there, Jasmine here. Welcome to another Wednesday teaching. We gather together here in this space every week to learn what it looks like to love God, love His story, and live devoted individually and together as a community. We are in our study of how to study the Psalms. This week we are digging into the organization of the Psalms. And I'll be honest with you, until recently, I did not think there was much intentionality behind how the Psalms were organized. There's 150 of them. Somebody just slapped numbers on them, put them in some order, for some reason split it up into chapters called Book 1, Book 2, Book 3, Book 4, Book 5, and that's just the gist of it. However, there is definitely a purpose behind how the Psalms are organized. So the Psalms are Hebrew poems, Hebrew songs that were meant to be sung and recited. They were used often in the temple uh, and as people were walking to Jerusalem, as they were working, as they were praying, they were means of connecting and worshiping, connecting with and worshiping God. Now, there are within the book of Psalms, five books. It's the book of Psalms is divided up into five books and each book helps progress in telling the story of scripture. The entire book of Psalms tells about the kingdom of God. And Psalms 1 and 2 are part of book 1, but they also serve as a sort of introduction to the book. They lay out some main themes that you will encounter throughout the book of Psalms, such as uh, the temple, the Torah, which is the teaching of, um, of God, the law, Messiah, and the kingdom of God. And these are just little snapshots, little, almost like a prologue of the storyline that's going to be developed throughout the Psalms. Now, the rest of book one is mostly focused on David's stories. They're mostly David's Psalms. This is where a lot of the popular ones like Psalm 23 land. And this is just about David's reign, his life, his story. Um, And that story also carries into book two. And some of book two isn't necessarily written by David, but is about David. Book three in the Psalms is mainly about the downfall of David's family and also about Israel's exile. It's a little darker. When I was reading through the Psalms recently, that was the hardest part to get through because it's a lot of psalms of lament. Psalms of lament are grieving psalms. They're psalms that are very raw and very um, very driven by negative emotions and, and the psalmist connecting with God and crying out for help and deliverance and salvation. And that's a lot of what we see in psalm, or in the third book of psalms. And then the last two books, books four and five, return with a lighter a lighter tone with the hope of Messiah. If you read through one of the fun threads to pay attention to as you read through the Psalms is to notice Jesus in the Psalms because as Psalm 1 and 2 introduce Messiah, Jesus, you can trace that desire, that longing, that promise of Messiah throughout the entire book of Psalms. And that's just a fun little thread to follow. And that's really the hope for Messiah's coming, for Jesus's coming, is really what wraps up the book of Psalms. In the final book, book five, the last several Psalms, 146 through 150, I think it is, um, the, the tone changes one more time, not just hoping for Messiah, also celebrating God's faithfulness. It's also, as I've been doing some research, one other interesting thing I found about the structure of Psalms is that the five books of Psalms kind of mirror or mimic the five books of the Pentateuch. So Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, which It's just kind of fascinating. So much of Jewish culture goes back to the Pentateuch, to the Torah, to the original teachings. Um, And so that's another kind of fun thread to track is to mirror, you know, where do we see creation? Where do we see 
uh, the law coming about and meditating on God's word, all of that found throughout the Psalms. So just as a quick recap, there's purpose, there's intentionality and in how the book is structured. It's structured this way to track the story of scripture from creation to God's fulfillment. Messiah is a huge theme along with uh, the temple, the Torah, and the kingdom of God. And while there is some dark spots in the Psalms, it's a great way to connect with God and to engage in honest emotion and to really engage with the entire story of scripture in a very different way than what we're used to. And I love that the Lord in his um, his inspiration of the Psalms and how they're structured has once again given us a, a condensed book so that we can see the entire story of scripture, his love, his deliverance, and the way he just desires to be with his people. So that is the organization of the Psalms. And we will keep digging into this amazing, amazing poetic book throughout the rest of this series.